Academy Award-winning director Mel Gibson has been a fixture in Hollywood, and in recent years, he's overcome some major personal struggles. Now 10 years sober, with a baby on the way, Mel is back in the director's chair for Hacksaw Ridge. Yeah, the film is a true story of an Army medic named Desmond Doss, who has served his country during World War II. He was a pacifist who refused to pick up a weapon on religious grounds, and throughout the war, saved the lives of 75 men without firing a shot. It's it's an unbelievable true story. I had the chance to sit down with Mel to talk about this powerful film. Take a look. Jump on it. You're kidding. I'm gonna drag you. Let's do it. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. We got company! And Mel, it's great to see you. And you. It's been a while. It's been a long time. <laughs> and I, in fact, when I was reading, I was like, I can't believe it's been 10 years. You've been acting yeah. and things like that, but you haven't yeah. been acting in that. and developing, working stuff. Of course, stuff. A lot always of projects. got stuff going on, but yeah. they've been they've been turbulent years. But there yeah. this is, I gotta say, in because I saw the movie last week, and I tweeted that it's I cannot remember being more profoundly moved. It's because oh, you good. rarely see authentic portrayals of people of faith. You know, there's usually something a little cheesy about it. And yeah. I know you fought hard not to get that into this picture. No, I, I don't think it's preachy. It's just who the man was. Yeah. And he was very humble. And he, he went into the worst place on earth. I mean, he was an ordinary man doing extraordinary things in incredibly difficult circumstances. I mean, the hell of combat, the epicenter of hell, of war. And uh, he was armed with nothing more than his faith. A conscientious objector. He wouldn't touch a weapon. He, Except we saw in the one instance that he does, and it's to save a life. Yeah, the only thing he, he used he it. He used it to yeah. roll up the... He actually yeah. used a rifle as a splint one time, I think, was, uh, was the only use for, he had for weapons. So I, I mentioned that mm -hmm. it doesn't say based on. It says a true story. It and, is. And, mm -hmm. and I did a little bit of research on it and, and realized... I said, why have we heard about this man before? And there's a very good reason. Well, he, was, uh, he didn't want his story known. He's a very humble guy. Like, and he, he got the Medal of Honor for his actions because in one, you know, 12-hour period, he saved 75 men single-handedly under fire. One and at in, a time. In, yeah, in, in constant peril. What I love is not since Braveheart, which is, has been my favorite film. I told you that in Funny Girl. You it's did. a strange Funny combination. But, but it's I a good do, combo. I think a lot of people are going to say this is Mel's best work. Well, I'm certainly proud of it, I think. And, but I, you don't do these things alone. I had Andrew Garfield oh, please. And, and Vince Vaughn and uh, Sam Worthington and Luke Bracey and Teresa Palmer and just, you know, Hugo Weaving. I mean, these people are amazing. Everybody brought their A game. And I also love the fact, because it's, it is, I got to tell you, if it's not for the faint of heart. It's, it, if, you, if you couldn't watch Saving Private Ryan, you would not be able to watch this. But you should, because it's, it's not gratuitous. It's real. No. It's what really happens in war. Yeah. The other thing I, I was reading about you yesterday, and you had said about uh, Desmond, and I think it's true of anybody that uh, struggles with faith in life. You said he honed his spirituality yeah. while he was in hell. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's juxtaposed against the, the hell of war, which reduces yeah. most men to the level of animals. Um, he he never lost his equilibrium. He, he, he honed his higher self, and, and he performed acts of love. I mean, greater love hath no man than he give his life for a friend. And this is what he did over and over and over again. He did it, like, so many times, and in constant peril. He didn't know he was coming back. Wounded himself. Yeah. Well, yeah, he, he, eventually, he eventually stepped on a grenade for his friends. But And then it gets even crazier what he did after that, but I couldn't even put it in a film because it's so unbelievable. What? Well, he, he, uh, after he gets the shrapnel and they're carrying him off on a stretcher and stuff, he sees a guy who's been shot and he jumps off the stretcher, tends to that guy's wound, says, here, put him on the stretcher. Then he crawls back, you know, 300 yards and he gets shot up again by snipers and stuff. It's like, it was like... And you left that out? Well, <laughs> kind of, because it, 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 it was almost too too much to believe. And, <laughs> and incidentally, you know, he saved 75 guys on Hacksaw Ridge, but he was in Guam and Leyte as well, and he saved other guys there, so he was always so dragged. So there's a sequel! <laughs> a prequel, actually. A prequel. Oh, yeah, yeah, those were before. The other miracle of this movie is that you did it in 59 days. Oh, yeah. Oof. About half the schedule of Braveheart for less money, and that was 20 years ago, so it's, it's one of those things. Because nowadays, you see independent films. I mean, if the, if the superhero, and believe me, Desmond Doss was a superhero, but if he's not wearing spandex, you don't get a budget. 
It is great to see you, and I'm, yeah. as I told you, I'm personally so happy for you. Yeah. Congratulations well, on the movie, congratulations on uh, the new baby on the oh way, yeah. and all the great things yeah, happening sure. for Mel Gibson. Yeah, you deserve is. it, sweetie. Thank you. All righty. Yeah. Hacksaw Ridge opens tomorrow. Do not miss this movie. It is unbelievable. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.